Good morning, how are all of you this morning? I hope you are well and doing just perfect during this pandemic and that everything is hunky-dory, as my dad used to say, at your house. Everything is going well. This pandemic seems to go on and on and on and you've probably been following it closely in the news and hopefully you're following the guidelines uh, that are happening. Uh, today, I want to talk about name, you know, the names. You know, it's interesting that uh, many of our names have uh, historical meanings. For example, my name, William, is actually an English, English term, English name. And it was most likely we were named after William the Conqueror, uh, which means protector and a will, like the willpower, the protector uh, of it. And so it's interesting, it's interesting that Charles, Prince Charles named his firstborn William. Uh, as you know, and so William has names. Something important in the name of, have you looked up what your name may mean and what it may stand for? I hope it's a good thing and that you're enjoying that. Well, uh, if you've read the book or have heard about the book uh, Pilgrim's Progress, you know that the main character in the uh, storyline, what's his name? His name is Christian. Did you know that his name is Christian? Well, it isn't always that. It wasn't always that. If you look at the very beginning, he's asked, what is your name? And his name says, well, my name is now Christian, but it used to be Graceless. G-R-A-C-E-L-E-S-S. -E -E Graceless. The concept, the idea of not having the grace of Christ. The grace of Christ given to him, that's what made all the difference in the world to Pilgrim as he was making his progress. It was the grace of Christ that saved him. And so his name was changed from Graceless to Christian. Well, we say that as a title. I know there are some people that are named Christian and probably shorten that and call him Chris. Um, but the actual name that was in Pilgrim's Progress was Faithless and then changed to Christian. We say that as a title. I am a Christian as a title. I still keep the name William. I don't go around calling myself Christian and having people call me Christian. But I would hope that people would see that I live under the grace of Christ. And that so do you. I think it's important. Um, each morning, Mark, uh, Marco Rubio, Senator Marco Rubio, puts out a Twitter and he puts out a passage of scripture that he has for the day, a thought for the day. He doesn't make any comment about it. He just puts it out there. And so I've been interested in kind of watching him. Well, today's he put out was from Psalms 124, verse 8, which goes right along with the theme. And it said, Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The name. The name is significant. The name of the Lord. Powerful name. And so I'm hoping today that you call upon the name of the Lord. And that you wear the title Christian and that you live a life full of grace, knowing that Christ's grace is for you. I hope that's encouraging you today. Coming up this weekend at 11 a.m. on Saturday, we will have our special worship service. And I think you'll find it. I'm going to talk about the power of the cross. And I'd like to invite you to be part of that, invite others. We'll be on Facebook and on YouTube and you can find us there. Uh, even on our website at uh, naplessdachurch.org. So if you do that, that's fine. We'll get in touch with you. But we're glad to have you with us today. But remember the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is our help and our strength. Let me pray with you. Dear Lord, thank you that we can call upon your name and that you are our Lord and Savior. I thank you for the power of your name and that we can call upon you that you've turned us from graceless to Christian, as it were, and that we are by faith accepting you and your life for ours, that we can live fully in the grace of Christ. I thank you for that. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All right, have a super day. God bless you, and keep well and keep safe.